Cześć, jest tu też dziś z nami Karl Valier. Hello. Hello. Um, how are you, basically? I'm fine. Up I'm the journey. Yeah, a bit tired, but uh, it's not too bad, and I'm looking forward to the event tonight. So, yeah. Could you tell us about the origins? I know you're an educated musician. How did you get into electronic music? Yeah, into electronic music. It's yeah, an interesting question uh, because I, at the first in the first place, I got into music through uh, classical piano education mm -hmm. since I was six, and then uh, at my uh, I was like uh, when I was 16, 17, I got more interested in doing my own music. Some somehow I didn't know anything about um, electronic music production at that time, and then I just started randomly buying like keyboards and uh, you know whatever I could uh, get into my hands <laughs> to just get the thing going. And uh, slowly, slowly, in my early 20s, I built up a small studio at home where I was and. Um, started to uh, educate myself. I was, I was never a big reader for, for things that I pick up things just like by doing, learning mm -hmm. by doing and that's what, what I kept doing from that time on. And then uh, yeah, at first I got into techno music a lot. But I was just, it was this uh, radio station at Saturdays with uh, Marusha, Brave Satellite. I don't know if anyone knows it probably in Poland. That was, in, yeah, it was on Fritz at the time and um, yeah that, that got me so much involved into the into the music is what was so inspiring to do my own music at the time and then uh, I started recording cass little cassettes on the cassette <laughs> recorder and it was very in the, in the very beginning I, I didn't have anything to record on it was just normal cassettes and uh, yeah but I still have them at my it parents is? place yeah, yeah. I am so. Um, As a souvenir. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of unreleased stuff, <laughs> stuff definitely there. Will you release it? Um, I have to, 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 to look the things over. I, I don't know, maybe I could grab this or that loop and mm -hmm. start going from there. It's, it wouldn't be a problem. I think it would be quite interesting to go through them again. Uh, but in um, 97, mm -hmm. I was going to a regular. Uh, radio show on KISS FM at the time, uh, that started in 96 and 97 and I was there like kind of a resident playing new tunes because they offered this opportunity in KISS FM in the old days uh, to, uh, to play uh, your own stuff mm -hmm. on the radio and it was just one or two to the tracks and then I got to know the, the guys from the uh, Don Q records from Hamburg and that's where it all started. Uh, they were quite interesting, interested in my music and uh, uh, that's why I got my first release on. And then I got together with Position Chrome indirectly through Don Q and then the whole thing started to get, to get more, yeah, more straight to the point with albums and all that. And then I went asleep for a while and then again in 2005 I started making uh, yeah, I was quite a lot into the stuff that was related to the therapy sessions. Not not the idea of the therapy session, but the music that was coming from there was quite interesting. All the heart tip, uh, heart uh, step and tech step mm -hmm. stuff. And uh, yeah, that's where I stand now. And of late, I'm interested in producing uh, dubstep as well. And I uh, also do a lot of uh, techno drum and bass nowadays. Mm -hmm. As you will hear. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you think about therapy sessions? You've mentioned mm -hmm. um, a few words. Is, is there any difference between therapy sessions as such and, and other parties? I'm not sure if the people isn't, uh, is a different people. It's just, uh, it surely attracts people that is into hard uh, drum and bass music or even techie drum and bass music mm -hmm. or everything that's got to do with hard drum and bass. Um, but I'm not sure if the people is really that different. I've played a lot of shows, uh, non-therapy shows and therapy shows, and I only can say that, that the output of the whole thing attracts certain people, and I think it's a good thing because uh, uh, it's, it's, it's spreading the word for, it's, 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 like, it's like building up a community of uh, uh, lovers of the hard drum and bass sound. So, 
that I can say. But the thing itself, like the therapy session, like with all the blood and with all the, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I myself, I'm, I'm vegetarian and I'm not quite that into killing and all that. And that. I mean, therapy isn't about killing, it isn't about uh, getting the people into that, but it's still playing with the ideas and I'm, I don't know, but for me it's just, I just like to have a good party, you know, I, mm -hmm. I don't need any anyone, uh, I, I don't need uh, project, projected uh, killing scenes on, on the walls for that, so music is music and it explains itself, I think, so, but yeah, there's also, there's something good and there's something that is not too much related to so it. focus on music. So. Yeah, so it's just my focus on music that tells me, okay, I'm not going to need any, any other images to however support the music so yeah